Hey guys, it is Kiki here and today I'm bringing you another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I got this very quick and easy deer makeup for Halloween that anyone can do. So if you're interested in finding out how I did this, just make sure you tune in. So I'm starting out with a fresh face. I'm going in with my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation in the color Coco. And then I'm just going to use my beauty blender and pat that all over my face. I wanted full coverage when putting on this makeup, so I did go in with more than one layer. It's not how much makeup I usually wear, but I just wanted to make sure for this look that it was fully covered. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. cream contour palette and I'm going to use that lightest color in the corner there to make sure I highlight my T-zone. And with the bridge of my nose, I'm going to make sure I do a wider highlight um, since Dara's noses are really cute and a little bit wider. They're not narrow how we do it, you know, when we contour and highlight. So I'm going to make that a little bit wider. And while I'm applying my highlight, I'm going to also make sure to put some under my nose there and under my chin. And guys, I do apologize for the sound of my voice this morning. It's sounding a little croaky. I'm not sure why, uh, so I do apologize. And of course, we're gonna put that highlight under our eyes, and then I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. So here I'm just going to go in with my setting powder by Airspun and I didn't put too much highlight on because I knew the powder was so white that it was going to brighten me up even more. So I thought that was perfect. I don't allow the Airspun powder to bake. Um, I just go in and blend that out with my beauty blender. Um, because as you know, this powder does give a lot of flashbacks, so I'm appearing right now a lot whiter than what I looked in person. But I'm going in with um, that white color again and just highlighting my jaw, so that way when I apply my contour, my jaw look really snatched. making sure to blend that out and also apply some more setting powder to that and I'm just gonna blend that in as well and now we're beginning to contour so I'm going in with that darkest shade on the palette and I'm just gonna place that in my contour zone and I want the contour to be a lot wider than what I would usually do um, that way I can give my face a lot of dimension After I apply my contour to where it needs to go, I'm just going to take my beauty blender and blend out those areas. I'm also going in with a softer brush and just buffing out my cheek contours uh, so it doesn't look so harsh. To do my eyebrows, I'm using this Magic Collection Brow Gel that I got from my local beauty supply store in the color black. When I tell y'all I love this brow gel because it does not get oily over the day, I pay like $3.99 or $4.99 for this and it is magic so <laughs> it's the name magic <laughs> but yeah I'm just going in and putting this on my brows I'll have a, another makeup tutorial showing you how to do my brows but this is not a tutorial for the brows so I will definitely make another video for that And to highlight my brows, I'm going in with that same light concealer shade in that palette. And I'm just going to place that around my brows to make sure it's sharp and clean. And 
And once you apply the concealer, of course, I'm going to go back in and blend all of that out. And now I'm going in with my Morphe palette. This is the 35F, which is the Fall Into Frost palette, um, which I really like some dark fall colors. So I'm just going to go in and put some concealer on my eyelids and then we're gonna do a cut crease. I'm not a pro at this. <laughs> so I would just let you see what I do. I remember a time where doing this was very difficult for me, but I am getting better. I definitely wanna master eyeshadow. So it's gonna take a little bit more time, but this is just what I have for now. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with that top right color and just apply that to my lid. After that's done, I'm gonna go in the corner of my lids with a little bit of black, not too much, um, but I'm just gonna do like a back and forth motion there <laughs> and blend out that cut crease with the black shadow to create like a little end smoke, I guess. <laughs> I'm not very good at eyeshadow, so if this is bad, please let me know. <laughs> and if you have some tips, just leave them down below as well because I definitely want to perfect my eyeshadow. But here at the bottom, I'm just going in with a white eyeliner pencil by NYX, NYX. And I'm just going to apply that to my waterline. And here with the contouring of my nose, I'm going to do a couple of layers. So the first layer is just going to be the brown color in the palette that I'm contouring with. And then I'm going to go in and blend out that contour, making sure to bring that product outward. I want my nose to have definition as well as different layers. And then to define it even more, I went in with my black liquid eyeliner that I got from my local beauty supply store. And I'm just going to apply that over the same contour. My camera was overheating, so I had to turn that off and let it cool. So I did blend out the nose off camera. So then I'm going to go in with my nose. This is a black eyeliner pencil by the brand Essence and I'm just going to create a nice little nose. And I'm also going to bring a black line down from my nose connected to my mouth and then we're going to apply some black lipstick. I got this from Claire's a long time ago. Some black lipstick to the top of my lips. This lipstick comes off a little greasy, it's not matte, um, so definitely next time I'm going to use a matte lipstick instead. Now I'm going to go in and apply some liquid liner to the tops of my lids. And I'm also going to create a wing, and this is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. It was really challenging for me to get this inner wing. Oh my goodness, I've tried this like twice and I still cannot do it. So that's something that I'm trying to perfect as well, that inner wing. And then I'm gonna go in and create an outer wing on both sides. After I applied my wings, I did go off camera to apply my lashes. My camera ended up overheating again. I don't know what's going on, y'all. But this is what my makeup is looking like now. It's so pretty. <laughs> but I really like this because it kind of looks like the start of a lion's makeup. So that's dope too. So this can pretty much go either way. Um, so I'm just going in with that same white eyeliner pencil and just creating some circles anywhere that I want on my face since we're doing the deer makeup. And once you have applied your spots to every location that you want, this is the finished result, y'all. <laughs> I really like this makeup. I'm very proud of myself. There's a lot of areas I could improve in, but 
it takes practice I will get better and I'm gonna be doing a lot more makeup tutorials for Halloween so stay tuned if you have any suggestions leave them down below and I will definitely try to do that I did do a half school makeup last year I'll leave that at the end so that way you can check that out if you wanted to but yes my buns and the sprinkly hairs are supposed to represent the antlers or whatnot so let me know what y'all think I'm really obsessed with this look as you can tell <laughs> so just make sure you leave any questions comments or concerns down below and I will see y'all in the next one bye